This place is... About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. <laughs> it's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Smartest thing you've said all day. If I hear one more thing from either of you about getting paid for this job, I will put a bullet in your head myself. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. So, I'm doing what? Freezing my cojones off? Oh, thanks for that, Delgado. I'll remember this come your birthday. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving.
my favorite part. Where the hell they go?
Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. Yeah? Oh, good. I don't want the place collapsing on us. I've been down here several times in the last few years. As long as we keep the damage to a minimum, we shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Katy has been here a few times, so why the ID card? Oh, Mattis, you pathetic little scar. A little late to be asking now. Don't... Nobody knows exactly what went down. I mean, there's all sorts of rumors. Griggs was in prison for almost five years. And judging from the look of the facility, every moment must have been miserable. I suppose he just got fed up and decided to take matters into his own hands. Got the prisoners behind them and kept pushing until he reached the key. The cojones on that guy. UC's toughest supermax prison, and he just waltzed the hell out of there like it was nothing. I would love to have been a part of that. The UC built the lock as a supermax prison a little under... Well, it must have been at least a hundred years ago. Before that, those concha Jesus padres marooned prisoners on the planet's surface and left them to their own devices. As you can imagine, these turned into some kind of... Demented survival of the fittest. Prisoners killing each other for a chance at the meager supplies. Luckily, some whistleblowers back in New Atlantis saw this as cruel and unusual punishment and pressured the UC into building the facility. Five years after the prison was completed, Cricks touched off the riots that overran the lock and eventually the key. There is no deal. You and Mathis are two sides of the same coin. A couple of rooks fighting for a spot in the fleet. Only problem is that he is down a sheep, and you are not, which puts you ahead. Just barely. Who knows? <coughs> Maybe he'll get lucky, and you won't make it off super off in one piece. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Put it easily. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred, at least. Might not look like much. Better than trying to survive on the surface. Not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Crix to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. What the dumb? What the hell do you want?
other way to go. Why can't I pick it? Is it used? Need bigger cups of berries and herbs.
see how this works. Locked and key. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Mm. This 
Ice and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell. Can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. You think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No. No way. I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves. But I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Yeah, we're doing this right now. Or maybe we should wait until the next time we're on an alien world, and separated from Delgado by an ice fall. We bide our time, and when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Hell no! Come on, we both know anything we find here about the Legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her! We got more important things to do, like spending all of our money. No, 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 no way! Listen to me! We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter! She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado! I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect! Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that icefall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone, ever again. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here.
intercom up there if you can. Can either of you hear me? That's bullshit. So the two of you made it, huh? <coughs> you kidding? After what just happened? After that ice fall? I didn't know what to think. I figured the two of you were crushed to death. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Cricks. You both got that? Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded.
There's gotta be a way this goddamn place. After action report, guard Bryant reporting. The shuttle bay techs were complaining about hearing some type of banging or scraping on the access door, so we were sent to investigate. We headed to the surface they and immediately engaged some indigenous creatures that had been burrowing through the ice. You managed to drive them off, but I'm certain they'll be back. Fortunately, our squad only suffered minor injuries. <sighs> First we deal with all the maintenance issues at the lock, and now this. If this keeps up, I'm gonna request a transfer. Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would have.
So, have you changed your mind yet? Well, maybe we won't have to. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time. You didn't see. Those aliens were tearing through them like tissue paper. It'd be a miracle if any of them were alive. Saved us a hell of a lot of trouble. You've got a point. All right, I'll follow your lead for now. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Been in a few slams yourself, I see. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess.
Come on. Those things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh.
Look at this dog. I can't imagine being stuffed up.
Where the hell is the computer? Can these things live in this kind of cold? That's bullshit. After action report, guard Bryant reporting. We got a tip from an inmate about some equipment being stolen from one of the supply lines. We did a thorough sweep of the place and came up with two mining lasers and several power packs missing. After the alarm was raised, all of the inmate the cells were searched, right but we turned I up empty-handed. I have no idea how the inmates were able to get into that storage room and hide that gear without being picked up on camera. Starting to suspect that the inmates could be receiving help from some of the staff of this facility.
those creds into my account. Amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Wait, give me a sec. This ought to come in handy. Things I do to make money.
join me to take my next vacation somewhere a wee bit more comfortable, like oh, a desert planet. They are paying us off. electronics and unpredictable surface company. conditions. How this place manages to function at all is anyone's guess. No one's bearing the brunt of this more than the inmates. Normally, I wouldn't give a damn about them, but this is downright insane. I'm starting to get nervous that we're going to have a riot on our hands if conditions don't improve. Things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh. This turned out to be such a maze. Jeez. Oh. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Get out of here. Remind me to thank Delgado. Hang on, I sound dry. 
Venus of yet I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. Shut up. Jesus Christ, the guy never shuts up. The thing it's mostly he's scared. And some people talk when they're scared. Uh Imagine bringing him to the Terramorph game, uh, project. Anything? Or the law of God? Can't imagine. Shut up. Make yourself useful. Start mopping. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for good escapes, I bet. <laughs> so far. Finally, I was about to give up. Make up on the end of the I wonder. Evacuation. Look 
It was prisoner D-03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected, and then all hell broke loose. As the locks recovered, I urged the UC authorities to perform a full investigation, as Cricks undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle, and we'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out. So many locks. Hey, Carajo. or something? It doesn't matter. Did you find anything or not? I'm the only one left. Damn creatures finished off the rest of my people. But finding the legacy, that is going to make their sacrifice worthwhile. Yep, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Dell. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Dell. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then, it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still be you to the key. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Ready to get the hell out of here. Hey, um, 
Look, I, um... Well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. What? No, no way. But, well, now that you mention it, um... Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Sounds good. Time to freeze up, mouse.
so many locks. Kill me now. Save the chatter for later, and just get us back to the key. And the light is good. Kinda. Yes, yes, Sam, I heard you. To bracking. Bracking, bracking. Oh, I wish the bitrate was always stable. Stable as at the worst possible time, I mean. 
I'm losing like seven hours of stream time until it becomes stable. It has been stable and it's gonna remain stable until and until ne next three hours. But uh, this is not the best time. You know what I mean. The best time is in a way that you know it takes a toll so it becomes like last leg you know what I mean I get tired and I'm more than energy to get this start there you are the hell took you so long it's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. Come on. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Because they would be rolling in so much cash, there is no way they could keep it quiet. It's like hitting a jackpot. Not to mention, they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galbank goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. Now, the legacy is out there. Just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. Are you trying to waste my time? I'm sure he did not have a choice. People would kill to get a crack at a score this big. I know I have. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? 
That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. You want to space out? Do it. Rokoff is... <laughs> well, he's Rokoff. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner is all yours. You know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. Because you're the one that finished the job. You followed orders, and you put your neck on the block to get that data to the key. As far as Mathis goes, I'm sure you had to drag him through the lock and prevent him from doing something as stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Uh, God. Bye. Wrap your business up with Mathis, then we'll talk. Mathis. <laughs> Matthias, Matthias. 
Mata, 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 yes. All this for me. The pirates need to shop. Jeez, looks like you can get anything here. Yeah, even for free. Of charge. We may not have official security on the key. I shot it. Where's the bar? I could eat something. Hey, Mr. Beard. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Or what should have happened. What? No, you've got to be crazy. All I'm going to do is lay low for a while, pick up a few jobs from Voss, and maybe get drunk. <laughs> Fair. Oh yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. So, we made a little friend. Of the treacherous backstabby flavor, but a friend. You yep. just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. You too, I guess. For me? Oh my god, these guys are so generous. This this is their bar? Yeah. Good. These guys are like great. Do you? Have you ever seen anywhere else in the universe that would give you stuff for free like this? I mean they practically are Put in there as a reward. No, I'm saying. Look, you can't even do this. Look at this baby. I paid a lot of money for this. If I knew there was gonna be a free one here. Ah, uh, well. Here we are so cool. These guys are awesome. Are you looking to start Look. something? Because I'll finish it. Damn. Where are you? Where the hell else are you gonna see free Aurora lying around? Come on, buddy. This is our home. Look at this. Free beer. Free hookah. Oh my god. Gimme, give gimme. Give you know what? Screw this stuff. We are going pirate, Bobby. Sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian what? and me, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I will core up. Why are you torturing that little girl? I swear I'm gonna dump you here and pick up with her and never look back. Well, up until a few years ago, she kept hoping we'd get back together. I mean, Lillian and I stayed married longer than we should have for Cora's sake. But we really weren't doing Cora any favors there. Sam, you are so pathetic. You don't have babies out of a whim. There has to be some kind of a... chemistry, love, passion, heat. You know? So, it's clear that you had that. And I am guessing you messed it up because I've seen Lillian in the other universe and she looks cool. 
I knew that was okay, so it means that you are the black sheep. No, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not put down Lillian with an earshot, which... Well, isn't that hard, really? Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. Yeah, I knew but it. it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. You sure Cora didn't hear anything about that little conversation? He's a very smart person. She's a great girl. More smart than you and me combined, I would say. Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own. Exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day... I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. See, I tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. Sam, you are being called by this horse. You are being called by Unity. If you just don't renew it, you wouldn't be so hard on yourself. And I'm sure Lillian would see that too. If she couldn't stand it. Not for a second. And she's right. Lillian is where she's meant to be. She always wants to fight the good fight. And the Rangers are lucky to have her. Yeah. Separation ain't known to be kind on little ones. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Dude, are you kidding me? Cora is among the most brilliant people in the galaxy. All scientists, explorers, dreamers. Late night stakeouts, shootouts with a lot of leftover adrenaline. Well, we were never lacking in chemistry. Compatibility, on the other hand. I told you there must be heat for a baby to come into the play, and you had that, obviously. Man, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think, Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. That's what I think too. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail, so everyone can sleep easy. Need 
something. Lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. No. Bigger target, right here at home. My score involves a one-time event being held aboard the Siren of the Stars. If anyone finds out the Crimson Fleet's aboard that Starliner, the event will be canceled, and I can kiss my payday goodbye. There's no way I'm gonna miss this window of opportunity. If I bombs lay a finger on this cross, I have to express the mission to blow your head off and serve the cross as social time. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's yeah. been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called Earth. Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those Galbait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Why wouldn't I keep it for myself? One might ask. I said one might ask. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. But I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. Holy moly. Just to take it apart. I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd uh, would eat it up. Look, you can make all dance, the same excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, well, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? So if we want to see any juice at the end, we gotta play ball. Message received. No. Message is no. not received. Yes, Earth, save you. Get it? Come on. Keep up with me here. I got about 17 other things to do and you're holding me up. Ah, Jesus. All Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credit. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. No. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Good luck. I like my weapons like I like my cops. What's your voice? My 
Metropolis and its police stuff lying around. Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. I ever find that bastard. Really are. 